Artistic Talents Incorporated, ATI, is a community-focused nonprofit organization dedicated to teaching the arts and facilitating the process for young people to discover and or enhance their talents through the arts, drawing, painting, watercoloring, pastels, land and seascape, writing, acting, music, and song. We also include a major component of our mission, video filming. This empowers young people to build sound careers from the kind of work they are passionate about. Our goal? To transform the lives of young people through involvement with the performing and visual arts. Young people will also be positioned to pursue the arts as a profession. Let me welcome our guest. Melvin Isaac is the Executive Director of Artistic Talents Incorporated. Melvin has a master's degree from New York Theological Seminar and a bachelor's degree from Marist College. Melvin is a professional artist who has been drawing, sketching, painting, and teaching art for over 20 years. His specialty is in portrait drawing and life sketching. He is also a certified community producer for Brooklyn Community Access Television. Eric Waters is the communications director of ATI. Eric has a master's degree from New York Theological Seminar and bachelor's degrees from Albany University and the College of New Paltz. Eric is a writer and has won seven Penn Writing Awards in nonfiction, drama, and poetry, as well as four honorable mentions in the same categories. Mateen Flores, the event organizer of ATI. Mateen is an aspiring author of Pasta L, a counselor, a motivational speaker, a consultant, and a budding entrepreneur. Mateen holds a bachelor degree in behavioral science and a master's degree in professional studies from New York Theological Seminar. Thank you, Tara, for that excellent introduction. My name is Melvin Isaac. I'm the executive director of the Artistic Talent, Inc. And I have uh, some extinguished guests that's with me right here. And all we're doing is following the legacy of Bill Weber. Bill Weber, to me, he was the greatest person I've ever seen. He was my teacher, my mentor, counselor. Uh, he helped me out a lot. And I know he helped you out, too, because uh, Eric, he was pointing out a lot of stuff about Bill. So maybe you want to elaborate on that a little bit about, you know, his legacy. Well, Bill Weber, the um, former president of New York Theological Seminary, is a giant in the field of urban ministry. Yes. Um, he looked at the offerings at New York Theological Seminary, and he knew that you had a school that was based right in the city, that it had to speak to the unique needs of people in the city, not just people of faith, but people in the city who were struggling with various things of New York City I'm talking about, which everybody knows is an expensive town. But how can you be true to ministry, and even social service, because ministry doesn't have to have religious connotations, but how can you be true to your sense of ministry and your sense of mission to do what needs to be done to uplift the community. And Bill is one of the giants in urban ministry and we contextualize in how we should do ministry and even social service in urban areas. Yes, and uh, how do you feel about Bill, his legacy, and you know how he motivated you uh, at him? Well, first of all, let me say, um, in, in reference to Bill, may he rest in peace. And I know he yes. will be uh, looked upon as an uh, individual who did a great service yes. to humanity. Um, Bill is an individual who is meek, you know, he's very meek, and he's a powerful individual. Um, he was the president of the New York Theological Seminary, although he walked around as though he wasn't the president of the New York Theological Seminary. Um, also with Bill, you know, I look at him as a drum major, someone who came up with the concept of helping people through religious organization. It, was, it, it wasn't a matter about labels is about can you get the work done as an individual, as a human individual. And um, he passed that torch to us to, you know, in order to get this, this work done. Um, I think whatever we can do in his name, you know, he has equipped us to do that. And I think there's going to be a lot of great things being seen um, that, uh, you know, we'll be able to apply in society. Um, I just want to say also, Bill was a great man. Yes, yes he was. And not only that, uh, his legacy lives on in us. You know, we carry that torch for Bill, mm -hmm. and uh, we will do what uh, we're supposed to do in terms of helping out the community. Now, uh, do, let's back it up just a little bit. 
From the beginning, uh, it was me and Eric. We first started with another director. Uh, we formed this artistic talent organization to empower the young people in the community. And then, uh, you know, it, we went a little slow for a minute because one of the director, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he kind of like eased off. He had to go his different direction. And so, you know, it took us another year or two, I think that's what it was, Eric, about the, the in, in terms of getting another director because it, it, we was doing this for about three years. So it's about a year or two, you know, and then we, uh, we looked at you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, you, you know, as far as a classmate of the New York Theological Seminary. Right. So, it's, you know, all of us is alumni and right. we are uh, graduate from that, you know, from that uh, excellent school that taught us what we know now. Right. But l let me just get something clear. We, we, we not the preachers. Right. We not, I, of course, it's urban uh, development to help out the uh, young people in the community, mm -hmm. you know, as uh, human services, and that's part of what, but you do have people that come out of the New York Theological Seminary as preacher, that's right. not our calling. So we won't be talking about preaching people on this show here. Right, right. Is, but we are going to be preaching in terms of uh, empower the young people and the community.